houses I have ever witnessed in my entire life, okay? This is a, this is a extremely expensive property, by the way. Just so you know, um, I believe this property costs over a million, okay? Over a million, okay, in California. So I want to just show you, you might look at this and you go, huh, I can't quite tell exactly what's going on. But I assure you, this is no normal house, okay? So let's begin. Let's just let's just try. We're going to explore our way through this house as if we're going to we're going to get a nice color here. We're going to use red because, you know, I'm I'm a demon. So here's here's us. We are going to enter the house through the entrance. The entrance. Okay, hold on. We're going to enter through the entrance. So the garage appears to have a door here but there's nowhere actually that connects into the house. So we can't enter through the garage. So we got to go back out of the garage. Okay, which means next we're going to enter through uh, the living room. All right, we're going to enter through the living room. Okay, so this is where, wait, that's a window? No, that's a door. Oh, this is a window. Oh my goodness, I thought that was a door. So we have to go in the garage like this. Then we go down over here. Okay, so the garage has no connection to the rest of the house except for apparently sharing a wall here, which is certainly a very interesting decision. Um, but anyway, let's try to find our way into the house. You've been invited over for some Netflix and chill. You know, you're like, you heard that your friend got a, like a cool ass place. And uh, let's find out. Okay, so it looks like the way you can enter here is through the living room. So you enter the living room and you might be like, well, okay, so the living room's here and there's a window out here. How do I get to the rest of the house? You might look into the living room and be like, wow, this place seems pretty small. There's only one room off of it and it's the dining room and the kitchen. So if you walked into here, if you're sitting here at the end of this thing, you might think that you're in a studio, you know? You might be like, oh, okay, so the dining room and living room is together, the kitchen's over here and then maybe there's a bedroom. No, incorrect. If you want to get to the bedrooms, you need to go, you need to walk from the living room, through the dining area, squeeze through the kitchen, pass through the laundry room, and then you enter into the bonus room. The bonus room, which is only connected to the laundry room and to the other bedrooms. So you can't even access the rest of the house from the living room without passing through three other rooms which might have people in it so now you're in the bonus room as for what a bonus room is i have no fucking clue i do not know what a bonus room is but let's say that your your you know uh uh your 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 pal your fuck buddy whatever we're gonna put your fuck buddy over here here's your fuck buddy okay and you're just trying to get to your fuck buddy, okay? You just want to Netflix and chill. All right, so we're going to draw a little fuck buddy in the master bedroom, okay? Just so we have a little bit more of a clear goal. Here they are. Boop, boop. And they're smiling. They're in their room, okay? So, here you are in the bonus room. Now, I would assume that the bonus room is much more likely to end up being a living room, right? So, uh, you might go, okay, well... Uh, maybe, maybe this is the way to continue through the house. Oh, nope, that's not correct. That is a, that is somebody's bedroom and it's only 10 feet by 10 feet. So this is a tiny bedroom and there's no exits to anywhere else. Instead, if you want to get to the other rooms in the house, you have to cross through this tiny bathroom, a seven foot bathroom that includes a tiny closet. You need to cross through there and you will enter into another bedroom. So in this bedroom is connected to this hallway, which is connected to the bathroom. The bathroom is the main way that connects all of the rooms of this house. You cannot get from anywhere else in the house to the master bedroom without crossing directly through the bathroom. If somebody is having a stomach ache and they're taking a big old shit, you're fucked. 
can you imagine every single time your roommate fucking goes to the gym and stocks up on fucking protein and has a giant disgusting protein shit that you're just trapped on that side of the house unless you decide to climb out the window? Which I mean, sure, provided that this is on the ground floor, climbing out the window is an option. Now, you might have been confused. You might be like, well, I don't know where I'm going here, but let's say you made it to the master bedroom. Congratulations, you made it to the master bedroom. And there's your, here's your little fuck buddy. You get in there and, sh and, and they say, wow, it's great to see you. Let's sit down and watch some Netflix. And they go, do you want to go get some coffee first? Oh, God damn it. Now you both will change this now. We're going to change this to purple so that we can understand that this is a separate trip than entering the house. You have to go back here, cross through the bedroom, through the bathroom again, hope nobody's in there, through the bonus room, down through the laundry room, all the way to the kitchen. Hopefully you'll be able to grab your snacks and drinks here. And then you'll have to cross back through the laundry room, back through the bonus room, back through the bathroom, and just hope that no one in this one, two, three, four bedroom house has to use the bathroom or take a shower at all during that entire time. Okay? Oh yeah, there's another bathroom over here for whoever got this one. This is the lucky sucker, by the way. We'll give this person a little gold star. Whoever has this room has basically the best deal in the house because they have a bathroom that's located right here which they can always use no matter what. Doe says, look out for the Black Knight in the laundry room. If you beat him, there's a sick lightning resist ring in the washer. True! Fucking true to Dark Souls level. So, you bring back the drinks, you bring back the, the popcorn, you bring back whatever. Uh-oh, the popcorn was, you put some spicy chili lime mix on there. Now you gotta go to the bathroom. So it's you again, you're like, sorry, my love. I'm enjoying the Netflix and chill. I'm enjoying the popcorn. But now I have to go to the bathroom. Now this guy, you can't go into this guy's room because you know, that would be intruding on his space. But this person here just went to the bathroom. So you are now pacing back and forth here, waiting to go to the bathroom. Even, and there's only one bathroom in the house that's publicly accessible. So if this person goes to the bathroom, you're fucked. If this person has to go to the bathroom, you're also fucked. So you might be pacing back and forth here, pissing and shitting yourself. And guess what? It's all within sight of your dearly beloved. Your dearly beloved can see you holding your ass, holding your ass so you don't blow up all over the floor, you know, clenching and going, oh, oh God. And you don't want to be rude. You don't want to knock. You don't want to do anything like that. But <laughs> Windleby says, sorry, my love, but the delectable treats we dined on earlier is causing a disturbance I cannot afford to ignore. Be back in 30. More like be back in an hour because somebody else is already in the bathroom and they're already having a fucking diarrhea dump from all the bullshit that they ate. Now, <laughs> there's more, okay? Let's, let's be fair to this house, okay? Let's be fair to this house, all right? Let's pretend we're gonna, we're gonna erase all of this for now, okay? We're gonna erase all of this, all right? Let's pretend that you're not gonna go into the master bedroom, okay? No master bedroom, all right? Instead, you've decided to go over to your friend's house for a movie watching. You're gonna sit here on this couch. This is gonna be a couch. Just pretend this is like a couch, okay? Here's the couch, all right? And you're gonna, and this is the TV over here. We'll put a little TV, or we should probably make that blue. All right? So you're watching the TV. Here's the little TV with the lights on it, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're watching a movie with your buddies. Now, we've already talked about the fact that you need to basically, uh, you need to essentially, um, you know, ration the bathrooms. But there's, there's another thing to consider. Let's pretend that your friends are very, very, uh, you know, they're very generous and they don't like care too much about privacy. Maybe the person who lives in this room will let you use their bathroom. 
But keep in mind, you can only get to this bathroom if nobody uses this bathroom first. So you need to establish a rule in your house that says that you fill the bathrooms in the correct order. So the first person who goes to the bathroom must always go in here to this person's room and their private bathroom. This bathroom must be used second. Okay? But there's more. Because keep in mind that let's imagine that you guys are drinking lots of beers and everything like that, okay? And everybody's got, everybody's got, you know, you know, you know, maybe you've been having some mozzarella sticks or you ordered pizza and so everybody's stomachs are a little whatever. Well, what happens if this bathroom here and this bathroom here are both full, okay? Well, if you happen to be sitting in this room, whether you have to go to the bathroom or not, you're going to have to hear through these thin ass walls, two people farting and shitting their brains out. And I'm telling you, unless you've got a really, really strong uh, fucking sound system, you're gonna hear every last fucking fart. Every last grunt, every last unfortunate thing is gonna blast right through these thin ass walls. And they're on both sides of the room. So you aren't escaping it. You might even get 3D sound toilet noises. And whenever somebody flushes the toilet, that's gonna, you're gonna hear that. Whenever somebody sneezes, they're gonna hear that. If you turn on the fan, the fan's gonna be rattling the entire time you're trying to watch your movie, but it gets worse. Because what's this right next to this room? It's the fucking laundry room. So if somebody, one of the four people who, maybe more, because obviously people have partners, so who knows, you might have fucking eight people in this goddamn house at some point. What if somebody has to do laundry? Which statistically, there will always be somebody needing to do laundry. You're gonna have the laundry machines banging around right over here, right next to you, your room where there's already fucking toilet sounds assaulting your ears. So there's a number of serious problems going on here. But guess what? There's more. That's right. That's right, there's more. And these are the ones that you really came here for. This is the observance that you really came to see, okay? Oh, true, true, there's no windows in either of the bathrooms. So yeah, uh, good, if there's no fan in there, it, your house is gonna smell like shit, okay? But let's talk about what else, okay? Because there's another problem. And the problem lies right here, okay? This wall, this wall and this wall, all right? Now I want you to think about it. Let's look at the structure of this house. Where are you gonna put a bed in, in this house? Well, you can't put a bed in front of any of the doors because it would block the doors, okay? So if you have this bedroom or this bedroom, you have to decide which walls you're gonna put your bed on. Now, you can't use this wall. This wall is not possible because there's doors here, okay? This wall would be possible only if you do it far away from this side. And essentially, you're limited to this spot right here for this bed, okay? Which means if you live in this room and you wanna have sex or have a private conversation, good luck because the living room and the kitchen are right next to your goddamn bed. And guess what else? That applies for the master bedroom as well. You can't put a bed here. You can't, you could maybe put a bed here depending on the type of window. You might be able to get away in the master bedroom by putting a bed like this, but that's gonna block your space. In truth, you have to put your bed like this, which means your everything that you're doing, you're gonna be sitting here, talking, sexing, whatever, is gonna be blasting right through those thin walls directly into the living room. And guess what? The same thing applies here too, because this bedroom, there's only one place you can put a bed, and that's right here. And guess what? This is the bonus room. So if you live in this bedroom, you're fucked too. Because guess what? There's that wall.
and let's just chart real quick. One last thing to send it home, okay? This bedroom, this bedroom, this bedroom, and this bedroom all have to cross through the exact same space at all times. And these are, these rooms, this room, this bathroom is seven by seven. That is a tiny room. A seven by seven bathroom that three of the bedrooms all have to cross through in order to get to any of the other rooms of the house. You have no other path. There is no door you can take. Fucking three people. Not to mention this is a gigantic fire hazard because if this room or most likely the kitchen or the laundry room catch on fire during a fire hazard, everyone in here just dies. Everyone in the house just dies. And the most common area you're gonna have a fire is gonna be in the laundry room or the kitchen. Oh, so in the real house, there's a door here. Well, that helps a little. It doesn't help a lot, but it helps a little. Apparently they've added a door since. Slight improvement. And what this, uh, what, what this, uh, what, what this really shows us, the real lesson to take away from all of this is that people are very stupid and you should always look at a house before you go there. Always, seriously, bef or before you move in there. Before you move in, take some time to look at the actual floor plan and go visit the place. Did you know? I know. I bet you, you learning something in a demon mama stream did you know that a higher percentage of people are renting houses sight unseen than ever before yeah that's right at this point in history people are moving all over the country into houses they've only seen online can you imagine if you moved into your exciting new million dollar house sight unseen and right fucking here this is what you ended up with Yikes. Yikes. That's all I gotta say. Also, it really is very odd to me that the living room is where they expect you to have, like, your coats and crap. So, like, your living room is supposed to have, like, an entry area right here sharing with the dining area. You're just supposed to, like, everybody just crowds in. What's the price? Uh, I don't know for sure, but I saw this, I saw multiple people online saying that this place sells for over a million. And I don't know if that's true because it's really hard to verify these things. Uh, let me see, maybe I can look it up. Let's see. Oof, 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 everyone. I have bad news. It sold in 2021 for $780,000. $780,000, $4,400 a month. Oh, do they have pictures of the rooms? Oh, do they have a picture of the bathroom? Guys, this is the picture of the bathroom you have to walk through to get to half of the house. Look at this. Everyone, everyone has to walk through this. This is that seven by seven space. Hello, sweet cheeks. These fucking tiny ass bedrooms. Every seashell has a story. This is this is the private bathroom, the one. Look at the other bathroom. The door wouldn't e won't even open properly. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Hold on. That's this one. Wait, wait, wait. You can see that in here. Look. In this, this is the main bathroom and the door doesn't even have enough room to not hit the sink. Absolutely absurd. This is in Glendora, California. Just absurd. Oh my God. These are the windows! Oh no, remember how I said the windows might be a fire escape? You might be able to crawl out the windows. Look at the fucking windows! 
They're prison windows. Also, yeah, what the he Joseph Nick, what the, the Nixon room? Why is this the Nixon room? Oh my God, is this like a, is this an SCP house? Just in general? Why does the baby have a Nixon room? Why does the baby have a gamer chair? Why are there two baby rooms? One that's themed around Nixon and another one that's themed around gamer. What is this? This is the bonus room. You can see that the path is completely obscured. Oh my God. You can in the current house as it's set up. You can't even get through the bonus room. And there's three fans on the, I am so confused. The fans are off the chain. Why are there one, two, three fans in this room? Oh, this is the outdoor bar area. We didn't even look at that. This is the outdoor bar. You can actually see it's open over here. And you cannot, by the way, if we go back to the house, if we go back to the floor plan, you'll notice here's the outdoor bar. There is no entryway. There is no entryway. You have to go out of the house. You have to go out through the living room and in through the bar. There's no access. This is a fucking window into the laundry room. Yeah, you could climb through the laundry room window if you really wanted to. But no, instead, let's say you're in here. Let's, let's just chart. You're in your master bedroom. You get a text. Your buddy says, hey, you want to have some drinks out in the outdoor bar? And you're like, yippee! Oh, Fortnite and cola! And then you're like, zip, zip, zip. You got to go all the way down here. You're losing your breath. Oh, my God. Finally. Oh, hey, look, it's got a pool, apparently. Wait a minute. It's got a pool. It's got a tiny pool. Oh, my God. Wait, this is worse. Okay, you can see here that the windows to the laundry are actually sliding glass doors. Okay, that makes it slightly better. Hold on. We have a small correction to make. I want to be fair to this disgusting house. If you're excited for your, your Fortnite and Cola, you go over here, and then there's a sliding glass door through the laundry room. And then, over here, out here in the outdoor bar, there appears to be a pool taking up this part of it, and this is actually like the indoor part portion. You can see here, but take a look at this. Uh, I know that you might not have thought about this, but uh, hold on, how do I, there we go. Notice all this this pool equipment. So these are pool pumps. These are not quiet, not at all. If you've ever lived in, lived in a house with a pool, uh, my dad, when he my my dad, for a portion of my life, did have a pool. So uh, when I was in the summers, I would stay with my dad, and our bedroom was right next to the pool pump. And let me tell you, we would get woken up by that shit all the time. And guess what's right here? The poor sucker's bedroom window is right next to the gigantic pool pump. I think the pool is in the upper right portion of the map. Okay, maybe we can map this out a little better. Hold on. So you think, oh, you think the pool's here. Okay, oh, actually, wait, that would make sense. That would make sense because the, the pump would be right here. Yeah, so the pool is actually... So the pool is actually over here. This is where that weird shaped pool is. And then the pool pump is like right here next to this guy's window. Holy fucking shit. It does have central air. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Looks like the entire budget for the house went on to building this gigantic pr like prison like concrete wall and this absurdly weird pool.
It has a hot tub. It has a hot tub that you can easily fall into. Did they add a door? Let's take a look. So there's no, there is, this confirms there's no door from the garage. There is no way in from the garage. The garage is completely separate. Let's see if we can find the door. No. Oh, they did. There's a new door. <gasps> ah, that makes it slightly better. Like I said, slightly better. So yes, in the current version of the house, there's a door here. So you can go, you can, you can, you can, there's two ways out now. It doesn't change the fact that, that to get to the bonus room from here, you have to go through, you all have to pass through the bathroom, but this is still a choke point, but it's slightly less of a choke point. The credit where credit is due. Incredible. Fucking incredible. Absolutely incredible. And mildly less of a safety issue. Yeah, there's no master bathroom. You just get fucked. You get slightly more room space. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed me going through that absolute madness of like a Dark Souls level design. Looks like like a catacomb that like bu like scary bugs would live in. <laughs>